Hi guys, welcome to this system. I started recently with this poster. It is all Arch Linux, right? Well, it is. This is pure Arch from the installation of the Arch way, so to speak. So if we have, if we take a browser, and that's way too much open, close all the tabs, and we go to Arch Linux, we go here, and now we go to the Arch D. And he would tell you how to install the Arch Wait. So that's basically what I did. Not sure if it buys a UFI, mostly I take UFI. And then you install your stuff, you, you rise it, you tame it, you choose what packages you want and what settings you want, like this explosion. Now, the videos we always make, I better kept it open. Take a look at on, on our um, YouTube channel. There are playlists and one of them is called Update. There are people who are afraid and they, they, they follow whatever, well, I would say rubbish, but it's a, a word too, too hard, a word, but things that are untrue, right? About you should update Arch Linux every single week, otherwise, or some, even every single day. I've made enough videos already with even SSDs that were two years old, right? So it doesn't matter. All it is required from you is knowledge. So here we're jumping from February to May, which means March, April, a jump of two months. Hold on, last minute, remember that one, a jump of two months. What happens on March, right? Because let's have a look, update. Does he, does he get it? No, that's an alias that we have on Arclix. Pseudo Pacman minus S Y Y U capital S. Otherwise, he does not get it either. I did have, as you see, I did, I did add our Arch Linux repo testing. Now I'm also here to install the Arch Linux, sorry, Arch Linux tweak tool. I don't really need to get into the new naming because we want to make the Arch Linux tweak tool an Arch Linux tweak tool so that it works on Arch Linux, on Arch Linux, on Garuda, on Endeavor OS, and of course on Carly, ALCI, Ariser, anything Arch based would be nice. So yes, we say this is typical of um, Arch Linux, name changes, replace this with that. Okay, fine, you go ahead and we have 2.4 gigabyte. If, if you think now, oh my God, I don't have the time, the money, the bandwidth, right? Then Arch is just not for you, simple. Choose something else because this is normal. One gig per month sounds about sounds about right. So here we go. We update our packages. I do see it's one by one. Don't like that one by one choices, right? You go to the etc pacman.conf. That this one. How will we open it with Kate? No, with Sublime Text. You can save new version later, my friend. Up, bigger, bigger. And down here somewhere is, voila, it's not there. So uh, parallel downloads, I think it's called. But uh, question is, of course, uh, how is it written? So let's get our knowledge in. Oops, nice. Forgot all these effects that I have here. <laughs> so, Arch Linux has a pacman.com somewhere. Let's see. Parallel downloads, five. So one R, double L, double capital D, it all matters. So that's it, that's what we're missing. And that's now saved. And that's already finished, I guess, or not. Not, eh? Control C. I'll do that again, this time with parallel. Downloads on.
and you see it's downloading a lot faster not one by one but five at the same time and depending again the bandwidth uh, what did you pay for small internet or uh, more this is typical keys yeah you can say yes but um, it all depends where you live if the key servers are you can reach them it's all about settings again but in this case I think we'll have the key if we install the Arch Linux gearing. It's always the same thing. If keys are a problem, there are two things. You see, a key a problem, yes, import. There's no communication, couldn't not look it up. Fine, you say sudo pacman minus s Arch Linux gearing. And then all the keys get in, get out, and then we update again so it was just this package <laughs> that's the only package that had the wrong key but after the arch Linux key ring he says oh I know this guy I know this guy and Pacman says okay we can install it we trust this guy that's all it is a lot of the times it's just knowledge And then boom, right off it goes. So that's um, that's okay. We'll have maybe a best way to pause it or not. Maybe it's fast enough. One of the things that I don't like as well, I see. We can change some things here while we wait. For instance. In the meantime, is that this one? Or am I totally looking at the wrong, wrong place here? Configure toolbars, right? That's where I would look at, look for it. Still updating. No, almost finished another time just wanted to put the terminal down up here so it's somewhere in here add terminal something like that open terminal here open file manager must be missing it but it's in our article plasma and I miss it if it's not there just click like that fine we're done so there you go we have an update what I came for so continue the video but because the update is done right the only thing I need to do well yeah I'll just end the video here and then do a test on Arch Linux in a separate video would be better all right I've updated my system um, up all doesn't exist and all that is Paru installed let's see Paru is not found is yay installed yay is installed and we see some stuff that needs an update I've, I've used Sublime Text, Dev IC. Some packages that are in need of an update, which I don't need. Pseudo Pacman minus remove RTTR. Let's have a look. What's that? I wouldn't know what it is, but I installed it. PAMIC AOR. We have our own Arclix PAMIC all. So that's again gone as well. And as long as you can do that and it doesn't complain, it's okay. And then it can be removed. There's no dependency for it. That's what I mean. And keep your plugins, whatever that is. Off it goes. So, yay. Lipkipi. Okay. Another one, and that's gone as well. Yay! And these things are mine, right? There are a few things 
Oh, look at that. There are a few packages that we used to have that are no longer available. Arkling Spices is from us. Garlic Earring is from us. But the other guys are seem to be packages that I have now on this machine that are no longer on Arch, that are no longer on AOR. Basically, you keep them or you remove them. They may function or they may not. Okay, cleaning up, lip, oh no. let's la do a last one, these guys can stay except another one I see, JS68, you're out as well. So if, if you do just an R, then nobody needs it there is no dependency and you can just remove it i will reboot and i'll try out our arch linux tweak tool all right cheers